Hey, what up guys? My name is Nicky Romero and welcome to the Instigate Studios. Now, today is a very, very exciting day. Uh, maybe some of you already know, uh, a couple of years back, we released a plugin called Kickstart. That was a, an easy solution for side chaining, an audio technique that's being used on a lot of music and film production. And today's is, is a very, very, very long awaited day for us because it's the release of Kickstart 2, which is out now. Now, maybe some of you are watching and be thinking like, uh, what does it do? What is side chaining and why is it important to music production? Um, if you want to know everything about uh, side chaining itself, there's another video where I explain this for Kickstart 1. On on Kickstart 2, I wanted to make sure uh, that you guys understand the difference here with side chaining in the new version in comparing to the old version. Now with Kickstart 2, uh, there's a lot of different things that are being updated and are, are new in the plugin that are not in Kickstart 1. We're going to be talking about this in just a little bit. First of all, I want to do a quick shout out to everyone who has been so supportive uh, um, to start with Cable Guys itself. Jacob, thank you very much for being so supportive and to help us doing the plugin. Um, also, we were super surprised by the masterclass video of Timbaland, who were using uh, the, the Kickstart 1 plugin. Of course, David Guetta, Harv, Martin Garrix, Zed, Knife Party, Kelvin Harris, all being super supportive. Uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do the plugin. Now, talking about Kickstart 2, here's how it works. So, I think that Kickstart 2 is one of the fastest and easiest solution for uh, side chaining, compression effects, uh, all these kind of different things. It's not really only about kick and bass, it's also about how can you side chain, for example, on an effect or like a vocal and what does it do. And there's a couple things that really, really um, were a big addition to Kickstart 2, I think. To start with the curves, because the same as, as Kickstart 1, there is a couple of different presets that you can use uh, to start off with. Um, you know, they all have names, things like Free Punch, Classic Chain, Nice and Tight. All these explanations are just, all these titles are just about a small explanation how the ducking looks like and what it actually does. And then, to be really fairly honest, Classic Chain is probably the one that's used the most. It's one of the first two presets. Uh, this just makes it easy and accessible to get your sidechain going um, without too much hassle, without too much work, because sometimes you're in a creative process and you don't want to be thinking about the technical side of things too much. It's just about being creative and that's why I think that the presets uh, give you a really good quick start. Okay guys, so uh, what is the most, one of the most exciting um, update in Kickstart 2, if you ask me, is that you can link uh, the channels to your Kickstart plugin. And that gets us to a really, really interesting thing. So in this case, I have uh, a bass playing, and this is a, a bass of a song that I uh, that I put out last year with uh, Low Blow. And um, the record is called See You on the Dance Floor. And what I've done, because I bounced the actual audio from mixing to audio, and I recreated this in a uh, plugin, a Logic plugin called ES2. So this is how the bass sounds like originally. And as you can hear, it is clipping a little bit because there is no sidechain on it. Now, the difference with functionality with Kickstart 1, I'm going to activate Kickstart 2 here. And I'm just going to do, not going to do anything. So I'm just going to click a free punch or classic chain. I'm going to put the mix to 100. This is the knob where you actually set the amount of sidechain. Uh, this doesn't really change uh, or differ from Kickstart 1. But there's some, some magic coming in uh, as soon as I activate it. And as you can see, their waveform in Kickstart 2 is showing here. And now I can link this to, for example, the kick drum. Now the kick drum is placed here on top of my project. And I'm going to play it out and look what's going to happen with the waveform here. And as you can see, something is happening that did not happen with Kickstart 1. You know why that is? It's because it's showing the kick drum within the plugin. Now, so you can see the actual length. You can, sh you can see the actual length of the kick drum showing up in the analyzer in Kickstart 2. And that is lined out in yellow, which means you can see the kick drum and the bass in one little analyzer. And what makes this super, super functional, and I know that David Guetta went crazy about this feature, is that you can really, really glue your kick to your bass, or the other way around, you can glue your bass to your kick drum. 
Um, and also what it does, as soon as you uh, change the mix in the plugin, the waveform is going to react to the, the changing of the sound. So I'm going to show you what it does. Here you can see without any mix that they're actually playing at the same time. Now I'm going to roll out the mix to 100 starting from 1% and just look what happens to the little analyzer here. So you can see what it does because as soon as I move up the slider here, or the little knob, the uh, audio is going to be ducking to the kick drum, but it's not only hearable, it's also visible. Another new interesting feature I think for Kickstart 2 is the multiband sidechain. A lot of my friends been asking me like, hey, when is, uh, when, when is there going to be an update about the, the multiband in Kickstart? I really need my multiband and I want to apply it. Um, and that's why I use, you know, plugin XYZ. Uh, but now I think with the update of Kickstart 2, we, um, we actually, we have been testing this out for, for, for quite some time. What is the ideal band and what, like how much do you really need in, in, in terms of multiband side chaining on a plugin like this? And I think, I think, and I hope we found the sweet spot a little bit. It goes up to 5K, a little over 5K. And um, if you're new to the, the process of side chaining, what is the difference with multiband side chaining against the classic form of side chaining? I'm going to show you the difference and actually hopefully you can hear the difference. First of all, I'm going to deactivate the band of multi, the knob of multiband side chaining, which is on the left bottom called band right in their mix. I'm going to deactivate it just to show you what it does without um, the multiband side chaining and then it functions as a normal uh, side chain plugin. What you can hear now is every time the kick drum hits, it ducks the entire signal because now it's, it's uh, side chaining to the DAW, which means it's syncing to the speed of my project. And uh, I'll get to that a little bit later because we have a new function there too. But just to take it as the, as the tempo of the, of the template now here of my project, it's gonna duck away the clap. But I actually don't want it to cut the clap entirely because that's also part of my groove. So I only wanted to react to the low frequencies of the source that I add Kickstart 2 to. So um, I'm gonna show you what it does if I click band and I'm gonna raise the bar of sidechain. So what you can see if I if I um, higher the number to actually if I if I put it max to 5k, it's still gonna cut away a most part of the clap. Only the high frequencies are gonna be left over. And I think if you want to keep the clap in this loop, if you want to cut away everything else under it, sometimes you have a little you know uh, a groove with with toms or maybe with some percussion that has some low frequencies to it. Those are the ones that you want to cut out when it's playing at the same time of the kick drum. But not so much the clap because the clap is part of the groove. So how would you do that? If you just open your Kickstart uh, plugin and uh, you activate the multiband knob here, you can also solo it to hear what it does actually by clicking on the little headphone right next to it. And then you're going to listen to the duct frequencies only. And it also shows you that at the analyzer part. Um, but I'm gonna put it up to the max 5K and I'm gonna show you what it does. If I put it halfway to 500 Hertz, you can hear that the clap is coming back already and your groove is restored. At the same time, you'll know everything under 500 Hertz is gonna be cut out, is gonna be side chained to the pattern and uh, the slope of your liking. So one of the last uh, exciting new features of Kickstarter 2, if you ask me, is the new functionality of audio triggering. Um, in the last, or actually in the first version of Kickstart, you have a sync and MIDI, which means that one function uh, syncs it to your DAW and the other function syncs it to the MIDI. And some people ask me like, hey, I want to make sure that if I use Kickstart that I can also link it to audio, which means that you're super flexible with what you're side chaining. If you're, having, uh, if you're making a track that's forward to the floor, then a normal side chain would do. But if you're making a track that has drums that are being playing out of the forward to the floor rhythm, um, then audio triggering is really going to solve everything for you. I'm going to open my bass here and my kick. 
and I'm gonna go to the side chain that I put on the base, and that's this little window here. I'm gonna make sure I go to the right top of my window here at Logic Pro, and I select my kick, which in my case is Audio 5. Now, Audio 5 um, is just actual the channel that the kick is playing, uh, that the kick is playing at. And um, I'm gonna click at the right top here at this bar called Audio. Now, normally, with the old Kickstart plugin, you'll have Sync, and you'll have MIDI and the new audio function is going to allow you to uh, to make sure that your kickstart is listening to the channel that you select at the right top and as you can see it will also show the waveform again of the kick that's playing so now if i would change the rhythm of this kick drum it should be listening to the pattern that whatever it's playing and it should duck the frequency and it should duck the signal for you no matter what kind of pattern you make the kick drum play. As you can see, I can, I can make it play as many times as I want and it will still listen and do the same thing. And you can make it as small or as big or as, as, as complex as you want, it will still be listening um, to, the, to the rhythm that you define with your audio. And um, as long as you link it to Kickstart, it will do the exact same trick and exact same pattern that you have set for all the other functions. And as you can see, every time it hits, it will do the little sidechain trick. That's it guys, for this video, I wanna thank you so much for the amazing support over the last few years. And I really, really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this new version of Kickstart as much as the first one. Um, we learn from all the input, which means that also you guys as producers, DJs, give us some feedback if you want. And uh, I'd love to hear from you if you have any support or any other things that we can change in the plugin. Hit me up on socials and I'm happy to learn from you. Um, and if you need a quick and easy solution for everything when it comes down to side training, Kickstart 2 is your way to go. Uh, there's a free demo available on the website. Kickstart 1 users can upgrade to Kickstart 2 for a reduced price. So make sure you get it at kickstart-plugin.com. Nick Romero signing off. Ciao.